told you that girl March of 2018. Does he think it's funny? Bring it the young blonde girl walks beside us. Sit down, rams her body in the bed. Do you know her? I don't know her. Her and her parents are talking about Davia. I said, they sure do know you. He said, I don't know those people. She keeps ramming her body in the back of the bed. Well, after she showed up, the Detroit boys' kidnapper showed up. Yeah. Now, my ex-husband, when we were married, he worked at nights. He worked from 5 in the morning. I mean 5 at night until 3 or 5 in the morning. He would come home and sleep till 11 o'clock in the morning or noon. We'd get up. We would go either pick up the grandkids or we'd go out to eat ourselves. We'd go fishing. We'd go boating. We would go out his big concealed carry. We'd go shooting. We'd go down to Amish country. We'd go for a ride. We were just us. See what I mean? And then get him ready to go to work. We went to church together. So where would he find a young blonde girl? We were always together. When he wasn't supposed to be at work. His job has a thing where you can take two or four hours here or there. Well, he had to leave in the night to go meet her. Where, where would he meet her? He's 60 plus. He had to go out and go to a strip club. She's probably a stripper. Her friends look like prostitutes. Where do you find drug traders and human traffickers? Especially in 18. Strip clubs. See, the whole thing of it is, if they just wanted my husband, he lived in Lennox and Madison. House payment was five sixty, six fifty. 650 I could have paid that myself. Pay more than that much. Why, if he wanted a divorce and go marry the strip, why wouldn't he just divorce me, split the profits, and give me all money, go mail to uh, marry her, go buy her and him a house? Under God's green earth, you don't kill or destroy the wife. Ever. That's sick, psychotic stuff. You do realize that, right? Hmm? How sick and psychotic is she? I told you after she showed up, the Detroit boys' kidnapper showed up. And then right when we go, uh, we had the second day we were up in Ravenna. Uh, we had went down to Danny's and got a load from his house. And that's when I was almost carjacked. And Dave took off and he laughed with Dixie that he knew I was getting carjacked and he left me. By the grace of God, somebody else pulled up and that guy took off. He's so mad. I had had four attempts and I am not dead. We went down to the storage. We got our bed out. And there was a, uh, him and Josh had built me this canopy bed. Well, one of the bed slots was all about one, two, three inches wide, an inch thick, inch or two thick, about five feet long. Nothing big. Heck, like he couldn't pick it up. I'm like, oh, come on now, I can pick that up. Picks it up, hits me, and I really hate it. Breaks my teeth. I'm spewing blood and teeth, and I'm like, why? You were not to smart off to me. He run, he jumps in my car and he takes off. I should have called 911 and had him arrested. That's when he was supposed to have met Michelle and retire George B. Three days later, my door's kicked into the bowl while we're out. And if you line up the doorknob with the wall, there's a big hole in it. But the next week, I'm almost passing out in front of the neighbors and I got bruises and marks on me. And I'm dizzy and my heart's racing and I'm almost passing out. They were already day raped up at me. Seen by Altman family physician for migraines, almost passing out, heart racing, short of breath, and throwing up. And then I got a severe personal infection. I was being beat, raped, and drugged. Do you realize how psycho this stripper is? 
And then I want to ask a retired judge to date Michelle. Dave's already dating a stripper. Why on earth would some psychotic man just beat his wife in the face with a board? He walks into a store that he knows no one and asks you to stalk and frame and drug his wife. Why would you say yes and not call the cops on him? Huh? Why would you involve yourself in vile, heinous crimes? I'd like to know. And I want to know who the hell they think they are kicking my door to the wall. Setting up my camera stalking me. Who the hell do these psychopaths think they are? Sell videos of me and Dave in bed on porn sites. Watch me in the shower. Photoshop a shower scene in the other room. It's already been verified as a shower scene by over 10 people. And the police already know it. And I was drugged and told to say stuff before. And they admitted in front of police and investigators that they drugged me and told me to say stuff before. Who the hell do these people think they are? Breaking in my home, roofing my Diet Coke, my cream. Are breaking in and stabbing me with needles. Oh, if you want to find retired Judge Pete raping me, pull the case of that agent open. You, I would wake up in a foggy haze. The man would walk across the room, lay down next to me, and I'd roll over and feel safe in his arms for a second. And then I'd go back and I'd wake up with marks on me. He was breaking and raping me during the case. He told everybody he was Cameron's will from the FBI. That Will thought Karen was beautiful. And he considered her his girlfriend. And people would say Karen's got a rich boyfriend. He didn't have a boyfriend. He's a serial rapist. That Dave hired. Him and his sick family involving himself in attempted murder. It's a drug cartel. I told you. I was even at Liberty House here. And they're training him. These prostitutes show up. They're in little red dresses. They barely cut their butts. They're cut below their chest. Spike high heels. They might as well have bathing suits on. He went out with us today. It's like, who cares? It's been drug traders, pimps, and prostitutes.